What is the difference between class component and function component? And when to implement a class component over a function component? Class components are robust and feature-rich, offering lifecycle methods and state management, but they tend to be more verbose. Functional components are streamlined and concise, and with React hooks, they now have the capabilities that were once exclusive to class components. It is always recommended to use function components over class components in React, because you could use state, lifecycle methods, and other features that were only available in class component present in function component too. When to implement a class component over a function component. There are two reasons to use class components over function components. If you need a React functionality whose function component equivalent is not present yet, like error boundaries. In older versions, if the component needs state or lifecycle methods, then you need to use class component. So the summary to this question is as follows. When to use function components. If you don't need state or lifecycle methods, and your component is purely presentational. For simplicity, readability, and modern code practices, especially with the use of React hooks for state and side effects. When to use class components. If you need to manage state or use lifecycle methods, in scenarios where backward compatibility or integration with older code is necessary, while functional components are generally recommended for new development due to their simplicity and the power of hooks, class components remain a vital part of React. Understanding class and functional components is essential to making the best decisions for your React project. What is React Error Boundary and how to use it in React? The Error Boundaries, a feature for catching JavaScript errors in child component trees, can only be implemented using class components. It is reusable third-party component without writing any class. I see no need to use class components for error boundaries. The usage of error boundaries from the above library is quite straightforward. Note when using React Error Boundary, Error Boundary is a client component. You can only pass props to it that are serializable or use it in files that have a use client, directive, error boundary with fallback prop. Wrap an error boundary component around other React components to catch errors and render a fallback UI. The component supports several ways to render a fallback. The simplest way to render a default, something went wrong type of error message. Here in React code, we import error boundary from React error boundary library. Using error boundary mention the valid error message or exceptions in div tag, which will be rendered to example application file component. Thanks for watching Coding Knowledge and stay tuned for upcoming React tips on latest release. Please do reply on comments section for any React related queries.